Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engine Splashing and Tuning. This is part three in a series I'm doing on uh, debunking Dodge uh, Dodge uh, field synchronization. Um, what you're looking at is a uh, set of uh, what's called Noid lights. And what these are used for is you plug them into a, uh, well, you have injector connectors like right here. And there's on this side of the engine there's four, on the other side there's four more. Those are what connect to the injectors. So you pull the connector off and you stick these lights in there called Noid lights. And the lights flash when the computer tries to uh, turn on an injector. And what I've done to do this test or this, uh, my, in the last video, part two, I predicted that if you um, disconnect the cam sensor that this engine would run in what's called batch fire mode and fire all injectors at the same time once per revolution. And uh, as it turns out, I was wrong. But what I did discover is something else that, that bolster, bolsters my claims that uh, the cam sensor has nothing to do with injector timing even more. So um, what I've done is I've taken two of these Noid lights. I bought this pack from AutoZone for $25. And I used the GM port injection and the Bosch port injection Noid lights. And I plugged them in on injectors number one and number, can't see it's in the dark back there, but one and five. So the, fuel, the uh, firing order of a Dodge V8, Magnum V8, is 18436. So one and six are the opposing cylinders in the order. It's 184365. So five is one after six. That means that the flash interval is not going to be equal between one and five. It's going to be one, then a, then a delay, then five, and then a shorter delay back to one. So when you see the flashing, you won't see it. It will be even flashing. It'll be kind of a flash 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 type interval now um, you can't see the flashing and when I do the video in real time so I have to do the video in slow motion to be able to see it with the naked eye see the flashing but right now I'm just telling you what I've done so I have two injectors uh, Noid lights and in injectors one and five and it won't hurt it because there's no fuel being sprayed into the cylinder I'll just have misfires on those cylinders but the important point I wanted to, to say was um, once I start this engine, um, I'm going to have it running, and then I'm going to disconnect the cam sensor, and what you'll see is the engine will keep running in sequential mode. And what that means is that it's not timing the injectors off the cam sensor because the cam sensor is not even is no longer uh, connected. However, I found that if you turn the engine off and then try to restart it, it won't start. It, it's a no start condition when you don't have if you don't have a cam sensor at the time that you try to start the engine. It'll be a no-start condition. Uh, I think that's poor engineering. Um, I don't believe GM does that. I'll have to double check with a GM car, but um, that means if you have a cam sensor that goes bad, your engine, you might get somewhere, but when you get there, you won't crank it back up. Uh, I think they should have made it where the cam sensor is not that critical to operate the engine, but that's here and gone. So anyway, um, Watch the next two video clips and you'll see one of them is with the engine running uh, in sequential mode, in slow-mo, in the dark, and then the next video will be, you'll see it running in slow-mo and then I'm going to disconnect the cam sensor while it's running and you'll see that it still runs in slow motion. So uh, watch the next two clips and I think you'll be uh, convinced that uh, the uh, cam, cam sensor is not needed to operate the injectors in sequential mode. It operates off the crank sensor once the cam sensor has told the computer where the crank sensor is at. So thanks for watching and watch these new next two video clips. So in this video I'm recording the uh, Dodge Magnum 360. And, uh, Yes, the next. 